This time I'm taking you to Egypt to learn English. I know, Egypt is a mysterious country. From the ancient Egyptian beliefs, mythology to modern Islamic culture, Egypt has always been on my bucket list. If you want to know more about this country, stay tuned to this episode. If you don't know me already, my name is Edis, an IELTS instructor, a traveler, and a digital nomad. Welcome to my channel. I don't know about you, but I always have trouble sleeping on the plane. I either have very fragmented sleep, or I wake up very easily. So I rely on in-flight entertainment to help me get through the flight. This time we are flying Qatar Airways, changing in Doha, the capital of Qatar. Unfortunately, our first flight got delayed, and we missed our connecting flight to Egypt. Being one of the best airlines out there, I know Qatar Airways will not disappoint. We were arranged to stay in a hotel room in the airport so we can shower and take a break before the next flight. We were given vouchers so we could eat in designated cafes or restaurants. Obviously, we missed our flight and then they gave us meal allowance and also a hotel room to rest for a few hours. So we are supposed to fly in the morning. Now we have to fly in the afternoon. So uh, we're going to just take a rest and maybe later to get something to eat. I'm actually quite happy with their arrangement because they responded quite quickly right after we missed our flight. So yeah, and the hotel is of good quality. In Doha Hamed Airport, there is an indoor tropical garden known as the Orchard. It's very pleasing to the eye because it has a curved glass roof with a ton of greenery, one level below. Perfect for travelers to unwind when waiting for flights. Arriving in Cairo, the capital city of Egypt, I'm shocked by how polluted the city is. Road transport is one of the contributing factors to the pollution, mainly comes from the exhausted gas of the aging private cars and taxis. It also accounts for an extreme congestion problem. Traffic volumes can reach 7,000 vehicles per hour per lane. Being close to the desert, Desert dust is another reason for pollution, so remember to carry your mask before traveling to this country. Cairo's charitable water fountains are proliferating in this climate-impacted city. The proximity to the desert makes Egypt vulnerable from the extreme heat. So the government has provided different styles of water fountains to ease the thirst of the citizens. Egypt is a Muslim country. About 90% of the Egyptians are Muslims. People here pray five times a day. The call to prayers is broadcasted by loudspeakers installed in the mosques. Egyptian Arabic is the commonly spoken language. It is written from the right to the left. One interesting thing is the Arabic number. 
Instead of numbers, they are written in symbols. For me, Egypt feels less restricted compared to other Muslim countries that I have been to. Women are not requested by law to wear a hijab. But still, it is advisable to wear clothes that cover your shoulders and knees. Vocab list Ancient Egyptian Belief Mythology Islamic Fragmented In-flight entertainment Got delayed Vultures Greenery Unwind Contributing factors Exhausted guess Account for Congestion Traffic volumes Desert Charitable Proliferate Climate impacted Extreme heat Muslims Loudspeakers Symbols Restricted Hijab Advisable Egyptology Afterlife Statutes People who come to Egypt are usually into Egyptology. Egyptology is the scientific study of ancient Egypt. The history, the religion, the language, everything related to ancient Egypt. And a big part of ancient Egyptian culture is based on beliefs related to the afterlife. So the first thing we need to check out would be the Egyptian Museum, Cairo. Here you can see the giant statues of the pharaohs. Sarcophagus, basically stone coffins. Hieroglyphs, the ancient Egyptian language. Depictions of gods on the coffins. And most excitingly, the mummies. A mummy is a body of a human being or animal that has been preserved by removal of the internal organs, treatment with natron, a type of salt, and resin, and it was wrapped in bandages. This process is called mummification. Ancient Egyptians believed that everyone moved into the afterlife after their death. To do so, the soul must reunite with the body. If the body is not preserved well, the soul will be lost. You may say that most of the tourist attractions in Egypt can be associated with death. Like one of the world-famous landmarks of Egypt, the Great Pyramid of Giza. The pyramid is basically a tomb for Pharaoh Khufu. It's the largest Egyptian pyramid. It was a triple to the king. But how was it built? The ancient engineering techniques were so impressive that even today scientists and engineers cannot be sure how the pyramids were built. According to National Geographic, the builders are skilled workers who lived in a nearby temporary city. The remains of bakeries and animal bones shows that they were very well fed, which is contradictory to the theory of slave labor building the tomb. Wow, we have learned so much already. Time for a treat. I love Egyptian sweets. They are usually puddings and pastries and are of mofo size. Perfect for you after a meal. Another popular destination in Egypt is the Red Sea, so we have decided to hop on a boat and enjoy the seascapes.
We are on a cruise that make for diving. Look at all the diving gears. Before the dives, we always have a briefing to inform us what to see and what to pay attention to. You might not know that there is an abundance of shipwrecks in the Red Sea waiting for us to explore. They were sunk for different reasons, hitting corals, reefs, warfare, etc. One of the must-see shipwrecks would be Thistogom. The SS Thistogom is one of the most famous wrecks in the world. Built in 1940, it was a 126 meter long freighter carrying military equipment during World War II. It was sunk by German bomber aircraft in the Red Sea in 1941 and now became a well-known dive site because of its historical significance. We were able to enter the shipwreck to explore the two levels and the exterior of the ship. We can see tanks, cannons, bombs, motorcycles and tons of marine life It was such a privilege to be able to spend time on the boat on Christmas. The boat has a lot of international divers, which allows us to share life and dive experiences. For cap list, pharaohs, sarcophagus, coffins, hieroglyphs, depictions, mummies, internal organs, wrap, bandages, mummification, reunite, associated with, tomb, tribute, builders, temporary, well-fed, contradictory, slave labor, treat, pastries, mifosize, seascapes, an abundance of, shipwrecks, warfare, freighter, military equipment, aircraft, cannons. It was such a privilege. That's all for today. If you would like to support me or to have more of this kind of content, please click the like button and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Cheers!